All right, creatures of the night. Alex Dorio here, one half of the Talking Taker podcast, welcoming you, all our loyal members of the Pod Street crew out there, to another edition of Digging Up the Dead Man here on the Talking Taker YouTube channel. Our bonus series here, where I go through and unbox some new and classic Undertaker figures, Undertaker opponents figures, and, and it's just a supplemental series here to the Talking Taker podcast. And got a couple of brand new figures, hot off the shelves, fresh out of the package from Ringside Collectibles, delivered on my doorstep just about an hour ago. Got Undertaker and DDP from the brand new Greatest Hits series 2 that I'm going to be unboxing here. But before I get into that, I want to thank the presenting sponsor for today's episode of Digging Up the Dead Man. You know who they are. Manscaped, baby. That's right. Manscaped is sponsoring Talking Taker and offering you an incredible discount on all of their greatest hits. You can use the code TAKEREASY, that's T-A-K-E-R-E-S-Y, for 20% off plus free shipping on all of their incredible products right here. We're talking about the Beard Hedger. We're talking about the Weed Whacker. We're, of course, talking about the Performance Package 4.0. That is undoubtedly their greatest hit right here. It's all encapsulated in this incredible travel bag. Look at that, look at that fine stitching on there. Look at that Premier travel bag. That's just part of the Performance Package 4.0. It's really about what you get inside of it. You get the Weed Whacker right here to get all your nose hairs, your ear hairs, all, all the little edging done that you need to do. Uh, but most importantly, you're getting Manscaped's signature product. That's right, the Lawn Mower 4.0. And look at that. It's got the light on there to trim your Death Valley area. You know, when the lights go out and the gong hits and you need to trim that Death Valley region, you've got the light on there to get that done. Uh, it's incredible product. Uh, it's, it's what they're known for and uh, it could be yours. But that's not all. Uh, along with that, like we said, you get the Weed Whacker, you get the Crop Reviver Spray, so you're not smelling like formaldehyde out there, uh, along with the Crop Preserver Lotion. Uh, that's just one of the incredible things you can get. 20% off and free shipping with the code TAKEREASY at manscaped.com. We've also got the incredible Beard Hedger, which is unquestionably the best beard grooming product you can get on the market today. And uh, if you look at this Undertaker figure, you know, he's got a signature facial hair style on there. We call it the Amish Devil Goatee. If you want to use the Beard Hedger to give yourself that Amish Devil Goatee, it's going to be the best thing you could possibly use to get it. You can get it precisely. You can match what Undertaker's going on. You can match what DDP's got going on. You can do your own thing with the full beard and use one of the 20 clickable settings on there to get your beard exactly how you want it. Do your own thing, match up with them, go full baby face. You can do whatever you want with Manscaped. That's what's so awesome about them. They've also got boxers, they've got t-shirts. Oh yeah, those are included in the performance package 4.0 as well. But you can uh, make your whole wardrobe Manscaped. Uh, that's the incredible thing about them. So we wanna encourage you out there, all our PSK members, to head over to manscaped.com. 20% off any order there plus free shipping with the code TAKEREASY, T-A-K-E-R-E-S-Y. Pick up Manscaped's greatest hits over at manscaped.com and tell them Talking Taker sent you. Now, as all you loyal listeners and watchers out there in the PSK know, as you can see behind me, uh, the, just part of the Talking Taker collection, I have been not only collecting Undertaker figures, but collecting figures to represent every Undertaker pay-per-view opponent. Uh, and I am whittling down. I am down. I am less than 10 figures to go. Uh, and, and this is one of the final 10 that I've got to get here. Diamond Dallas Page to represent SummerSlam 2001. Uh, I may not want to have to represent it. Uh, it's not really the Undertaker's greatest match or greatest rivalry but uh, that's part of the collection you got to get one to represent all of them here and so this greatest hits Mattel Elite DDP is going to represent that uh, and then I also picked up whoop, there we go 
Also picked up the new greatest hits of The Undertaker, representing his run in the Unholy Alliance. Uh, really, you know, a shoot off of the Ministry of Darkness, the Unholy Alliance, his team up with The Big Show in 1999 uh, with a short lived tag team title reign. Uh, you know, believe it or not, I don't have a Big Show. You know, there's how many hundreds of Big Show figures out there. He is one of the final few guys that I don't have a figure to represent yet. Um, and so he is one that I'm still on the lookout for. It's not that I can't find them. You know, I see Big Show figures all the time. Uh, I'm just looking to get one really, um, I guess I haven't decided if I want to represent his tag team run with Undertaker or one of his many pay-per-view matches against The Undertaker, you know, the bald Big Show or the, uh, you know, 1999 Big Show. I haven't quite decided yet. And, uh, you know, I guess maybe I need both. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But uh, let's take a look at these. You know, this, this Greatest Hits collection is pretty neat because Mattel has taken some figures that are either um, have not been on the shelves in a long, long time and, and some of their best ones and re-releasing them uh, in slightly updated uh, different joints, I believe they have on there. Uh, and then they've taken some uh, like this DDP or the King Harley race that's in this series that for whatever reason, you know, distribution problems, um, I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but they were hard to find. And a lot of people didn't get them or had to uh, buy them on the resale market and things like that. And this DDP was one of them. I remember this only came out a couple of years ago and it was kind of when I had just started getting into this building this uh figure collection and so i remember being on the lookout for it out on the shelves and uh it was part of the legends line which is only available at target and never saw it once never saw one time the original ddp on the shelf um this was back before i realized how important pre-ordering was i used to i thought you know pre-ordering yeah you'll get it earlier but eventually you'll see it on the shelves and sometimes that is true but a lot of times with mattel especially lately that is not the case you got to pre-order it if you really really want it and so that's what i did here um with this greatest hits series two i pre-ordered the two that i needed the ddp and the undertaker um i know for a fact uh, that's, you know, speaking of that same issue, Greatest Hits Series 1, there's an Undertaker figure in there uh, representing, um, it was a re-release, I believe, of um, Elite Series 1 Undertaker. Uh, really wanted that. And I assumed, you know, this Greatest Hits Series would kind of, you would think a Greatest Hits Series would be prevalent. It would be everywhere. Um, sort of like the, um, what do they get? The top picks that Mattel does that are just kind of always on the shelves at your Walmart and Target. Again, didn't see that Greatest Hits series in the store for like over a year after they were released and available on ringsidecollectibles.com. And even then, I never saw that Taker on the shelf. I, I saw some of the other Greatest Hits a couple times at Walmart, but never saw that Taker. Uh, thankfully, Steven Zeman of the Collecting Dead Man podcast got an extra one and he sent it to me. So I was able to add that one. Didn't make that mistake. Ordered these from Ringside Collectibles. Um, Ringside Collectibles, you know, you know you're always going to get them in stock. Uh, you know you're going to get them early, but you are going to pay a premium for it, which is why I don't always do ringside. I'm a bit of a cheapskate, but uh, you know it, it, sometimes it's worth paying the premium to avoid the hassle. Let's talk about DDP. Um, of course, this is from his 2001 run, and there's never really been a perfect DDP release to represent his run against The Undertaker in 2001. Obviously, he's the heel. He's the stalker of The Undertaker, stalking The Undertaker's wife, teaming up with Canyon. Who better than Canyon? Uh, one of my uh, all-time favorite underrated wrestlers. And there's been a couple DDPs released in this look, uh, which is about as close as you're going to get to that 2001 heel DDP, but it's always of this baby face run. Look at that smile on his face. He's doing the positively page character. You see it there on the box. That's more of his 2002 uh, run. You know, his uh, winning the European title, facing Christian at WrestleMania, doing the uh, gimmick where he, where he was sort of the motivational speaker, you know, sort of the prototype for who uh, DDP would, would go on to become, you know, once he was retired from wrestling. Uh, and that's always what they give us in figure form. Obviously, it's more memorable and more popular. Uh, but it's essentially the same gear, just, you know, maybe without a smile on his face. Although, I guess you, you could say Stalker DDP was, was, you know, I'm sure he did have a big smile grin on his face sometimes when he was creeping up on Sarah or when he had, uh, I remember one segment where he's got like a... Um, 
who's the girl Helga and Hey Arnold. She had that shrine to Hey Arnold uh, in her bedroom. That's what DDP had on Raw one time. Uh, I remember that. Uh, so I'm sure he was smiling at some points during that run. So you could say this is pretty close to that. Uh, let's take a look at the back of the box here. We see that DDP, of course, is from the Jersey Shore. Six foot five. He's a tall guy. DDP's a big guy. 248 pounds. Finisher was the Diamond Cutter. As always, uh, we know that. The WSW World Heavyweight Champion, United States Champion, Hall of Fame inductee. Surprised they don't say European Champion on there because that's what he held during this run. And uh, honestly, it would have been kind of cool if they included a European title uh, in here with DDP. I'm sure Mattel has not released that very often. But um, Positively Page encouraged everyone to look on the positive side of every situation. And you'll see, just like me, DDP, I like me, you like me, and I'm going to help you like you. And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. As the old DDP expression would go. Uh, it was a fun gimmick. I, I definitely liked it at the time. Um, and it, you know, DDP was kind of older. Um, older for that time. Uh, although I say, you no, know, nowadays, you know, main eventers are uh, way older. So he, he definitely could have had a main event run. He, he, but, uh, you know, his body was given out at that time. I understand why they kind of shifted him down toward the mid card. But um, still always put on a great performance. There's a reason why he's a Hall of Famer. And, uh, you know, he, even in that feud with The Undertaker, he gave it his all. You know, it, it was not a great feud. It was not a great character. It was not a great gimmick. But he did what he could with it. Uh, and that's why you got to give him credit. And this is, again, man, I don't love every Mattel release. But, golly, this is a great one right here. You, this definitely belongs in the greatest hits. Take a look at the back. Just look at the detailing on that vest. Bang, man. Um, I mean, that is picture perfect. Looking exactly like his vest looked back in that time. It's got his tattoos really well done on his tattoos. I remember those tattoos on the other side. He's had those forever. I always thought his tattoos were, were pretty cool uh, as far as wrestlers' tattoos go. Look at this. Look at the way that they're protecting the diamond cutter hands in there. I've never seen that, that extra plastic piece kind of holding those hands together, that pose um, in the box. That's pretty cool. And again, like I said, they have released a DDP in this look before. There was a Jax uh, classic superstars of a DDP in this look. But the reason I wanted, needed this DDP is because it is the first... Um, in this gear, uh, the Essential Mattel release in this gear with the diamond cutter hands. And if you're gonna have a DDP on display on your shelf, you better have one with the diamond cutter hands. I mean, uh, even if you're not a wrestling fan, you know the diamond cutter symbol. It's one of those iconic things, like the two sweet hand symbol um, that everybody knows. And uh, it really, I, I think not just the diamond cutter move, but the diamond cutter symbol uh, that DDP did, that's what really put him on the map uh, and, and you know made him jump off the screen and, and turn him from a mid-carder into a main eventer and, and to a true legend. So um, look at this, it's just fantastic. It's got his earpiece on there. I'm actually probably just gonna take that off uh, and put that off to the side because he wasn't wearing that in the feud with Undertaker, but it's a nice little uh, accessory there and it does pop off uh, pretty easily uh, losable, but I won't be upset if I lose that. Um, and let's see, look at that. Wanted to check to see if DDP's famous, his famous star tattoo was right there on his, uh, uh, left, excuse me, his right pec. There it is right there. Uh, great attention to detail. Mattel usually nails all that attention to detail. So, uh, that's a 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10 right there with the diamond cutter symbol. Excited to finally have DDP on the shelf and I'll put him next to my WCW Canyon figure. Uh, the only Chris Canyon figure that's ever been released and a, and a pretty great one. If you're only gonna have one figure, uh, that's a pretty outstanding one. I, I do love that figure. So I'll put DDP right next to the Weed Whacker right here. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. We will move on to the Undertaker here on Talking Taker YouTube channel, Greatest Hits. I don't know exactly what series this was originally released, but a long time ago. It's an older Mattel release. Again, like we said, of that unholy alliance with the Big Show, and that's why he's coming with the tag team title on there. 
Um, sort of, you know, very short-lived, this gear, really just Ministry of Darkness, where you'd wear, um, I, I, it is a tank top, but, but it's not quite like the other shirts that Undertaker used to wear, and it's got that design there uh, in the middle, and, uh, you know, I don't have a ton of Ministry of Darkness Undertaker representation on my shelf, certainly nothing to represent the uh, tag team championship uh, run with Big Show. So this is a cool one. Uh, I was excited to get it. Do I need it? No, uh, but I, I do think it, it, it represents something that I don't quite have in the Taker shelf, in the Taker collection. So worth getting. Um, you know, I, I, I usually end up getting uh, most newer Undertaker releases out of FOMO, uh, even if I don't necessarily need them or, or think they're essential. But uh, this one, I, I did go ahead and grab and uh, and I was thinking earlier that this run, this Ministry of Darkness run of Taker, again, it, it's short. It's, it's very short-lived compared to his other runs. You know, the gray gloves, the purple gloves, or just, you know, basically what he wore throughout uh, the 2000s, or even the Biker Taker era. It's shorter than any of those, but maybe uh, his most widely seen run. Because 1999, that's when the most eyes are watching the Undertaker than ever. That's when the most eyes are watching pro wrestling, uh, especially the WWF at the time than ever is right there in 1999. Um, we famously covered it on the episode of Talking Taker. Uh, Travis and I were joined along with Mike and JV from the Bottom Line Wrestling cast to do a watch along of the highest rated Monday Night Raw match in, in television history, highest rated pro wrestling match in television history, Undertaker dropping the championship to Stone Cold in 1999. So literally the most eyes ever watching wrestling on television took place with The Undertaker, you know, in a in this run, in this Ministry of Darkness run. So it's definitely his most widely seen run, even if it's short-lived. Take a look at the back. Of course, Undertaker, as we know, is from Death Valley. As we know, he is six foot 10 inches tall. And as we know, he is 309 pounds. Uh, I think if you're a hardcore Undertaker fan, you probably got those stats memorized. His finisher is the tombstone. His accolades, according to this, WWE Champion, World Heavyweight Champion, 21 straight WrestleMania win streak right there. And they don't say Tag Team Champion, even though he comes with the Tag Team title belt. Uh, I believe it's... Uh, six tag team championships. Uh, no, seven. Uh, as Travis sings to us in the Talking Taker, Taker Easy theme song. Seven world ones, one hardcore, and seven tags with four different guys. <laughs> Fueled by pure, unadulterated hatred and evil. Good Lord. Pure, unadulterated hatred and evil. That is dark right there. The unholy alliance of Undertaker and Big Show was intent on destroying x Fox and Kane for the tag team titles at SummerSlam 1999. One of Travis's favorite underrated Undertaker matches is that one. Uh, it made his top 20 all-time Undertaker matches. Of course, we got a video dedicated to that uh, and dedicated to that match as well. I liked it. Didn't make my top 20, but Travis, you know, he has a soft spot for that match in his heart. So uh, that's worth checking out if you haven't done that in a while. Let's take a look at the dead man. Oh, all right. I mean, as you can see, as you know, I keep everything loose. So no point in uh, doing taking care of that packaging, in my opinion. Uh, some alternate hands and i will pop those out i didn't pop them out with ddp but i will pop these out because they're pretty nice look at that beautiful tag team title i got a couple of these tag team titles uh last year when i got the acolytes farouk and bradshaw that came out uh and uh, they're on the bottom shelf there i don't know if you can see them but uh it's a great title i mean mattel makes some of the probably the best widely produced titles you'll ever see um we'll put that to the side real quick and you can take in that undertaker look at that head scan that is 1999 undertaker right there you got the uh you can see the the goatee stretching down off his face you got the hair perfect uh i have definitely critiqued some mattel undertaker head scans lately saying uh that they use a modern or, or even like a 2010 2012 undertaker head scan on some older figures um and uh really bugs me but that right there that's spot on that is definitely 1999 undertaker they got the body right um look at the detailing on the tights that xt symbol and um 
the detailing there on the inside. It's kind of raised right there, the symbol, even though it's uh, still in black and in the red. Got the tattoos as well. I mean, it's funny, you look at it at the back, that could be, like I said, that could be 2010, that could be 2012 Undertaker there, looking at it from behind, but from the percent, that's a Ministry of Darkness. Undertaker, Unholy Alliance, very cool addition to the collection. And let's pop in one of these alternate hands. You've got the throat slash hand right there. I think we gotta have that on display here, so. Always appreciate Mattel adding the alternate hands. Uh, what a cool addition here to modern day figure collecting. Something I would have loved to have had back when I was a kid playing with figures. Something I definitely would have lost a lot of as a kid playing with figures. There you go. You can have Undertaker giving you a thumbs up. Giving DDP a thumbs up there for stalking his wife. Nah, that's not what he's going to do. He's going to give DDP the throat slash. Uh, man, would be cool to have an alternate head. Uh with him with the eyes rolled back in his head but you know can't have everything here for uh an elite figure that'd be more in line with an ultimate i guess but uh we'll do the throat slash on there um he's also got the i guess you'd say the choke slam hand the open hand right there uh we'll leave that as it is and we will Put the strap back on him on the shoulder there and doing the throat slash. I think that's how we will have him on display. Let's see if we can get the belt in his hands there. Okay, there we go. There we go. He can hold the title better that way. He can do the throat slash. That's why we're going to have Unholy Alliance Undertaker on display there. So there he is. And there's DDP. What do you think of the new greatest hits selections from mattel of course what do you think about the greatest hits from manscaped have you picked those up have you picked these up let us know in the comments of course as you know you can listen or watch talking taker episodes covering every match in the undertaker's legendary career so you can hear our analysis of the undertaker versus ddp Undertaker and Kane versus DDP and Canyon inside a steel cage at SummerSlam 2001. That one is available. You can hear The Undertaker and The Big Show versus uh, Kane and X-Pac. So, uh, two different eras of tag team action from The Undertaker. We got episodes on, all, on both of those. SummerSlam 99, SummerSlam 2001 there in our archives. Be sure to check those out. Be sure to subscribe here on the YouTube channel for more action figure unboxings and more bonus Talking Taker content. Subscribe to the podcast uh, to get uh, our brand new episode, uh, which will be released on June 1st, covering the top 10 rivals of The Undertaker's career. Travis and I debating that. Will DDP be on the list? No, he will not. Uh, not on my list, at least. Maybe he'll be on Travis's, but uh, you'll have to listen to find out who will be on the list of the Aaron Taker's top 10 rivals of all time. Uh, like I said, subscribe here to the YouTube channel for more bonus content. And of course, check out our presenting sponsors, Manscaped, over at manscaped.com with the code TAKEREASY for 20% off and free shipping on your entire order. You know what? I'm going to go put these guys back on the shelf. I'm going to go continue my manscaping for the day, my daily activity. And I want to wish you a wonderful day and encourage you to take her easy.